everybody, and welcome to today's Kundalini Kriya for Deep Meditation. There's a lot of audio clips and 21 day meditations that have been transpiring and people have been posting. So I thought it would be really nice to add in a Kundalini Kriya for a Kundalini set that focuses on preparing for a deep meditation. So as usual with all our classes, we open up with three Om Namo Guru Dev Namo and then three of the protection mantra chants. I've already done that in preparation for the class and you can do that in your own time um, depending on your space and who's with you. So um, for the particular set, we're going to bring our hands together and we're going to lift our hands up above our head and what's really important is we don't get the scrunch of shoulders with these nice long arms and shoulders are away from the ears. But we're going to make a whistle breath. We've got this little whistle sort of breath. And we're going to inhale and exhale through that little mouth. And during this meditation, you can either focus on your brow point or the tip of your nose. Okay. I'll keep time for you. We'll be doing this particular pose for five minutes. So when you're ready, sit nice and tall. Make sure you're sitting on your bum bones. I like to give myself like a little wriggle just to make sure that I'm sitting evenly on my left and right bum cheek or my bum bones and that I'm not sitting forward on my pubic bone or sitting back on my coccyx. I'm planted firmly on the ground. Okay. So when you're ready, you can bring your eyes to a close. Make your mouth into a whistle shape. And exhale and inhale through that little shape. Very long, drawn out breath. We're halfway, you're doing great. Shoulders might be burning, keep the shoulders relaxed. Just focus on the breath.
Like that you lost. Inhale and exhale. You can slowly bring your arms back down. You can shake out the shoulders if you need. Give yourself a bit of a squeeze or rub if they're really burning. And just rest for a few moments. Hands on your knees. All right, so remaining in this pose, we're gonna bring our hands up in front of us, parallel to the floor and parallel to each other. And then we're gonna link our fingers together and twist our hands around or our wrists around so that the palms are facing away from you. And you're gonna exhale as you bring your hands towards your chest and inhale as you bring your hands away from your chest. So exhale towards the chest, Inhale away from the chest. Okay, sit up nice and tall, stay grounded, and when you're ready, you can start at your own pace. Start off slow, and as you start to feel more confident with the pattern of the breath, you increase the pace as well as as well as the strength of the push and the pull motion as well as the breath itself. So it becomes a powerful push-pull motion. Take a nice deep inhale. Keep the arms in front of you. Don't take a break. So for the next one, we're still pumping the arms, but we're gonna do a different sort of sequence. So you're gonna inhale, hold the breath in, and pump the arms up overhead. And then back down, still maintaining the inhale. Then you're gonna exhale, bring them to the chest, and back in this position. So inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and you keep going in the sequence, right? I'm gonna keep time for you, you just focus on your breath. Inhale up, exhale to chest. Inhale, exhale. As you start to feel more comfortable with the coordination of the breathing sequence and the arms, you can increase the rate at which you're moving as well as the strength of your breath. You should be working up the sweat at this stage. Just continue the sequence as best as you can.
Inhale with the arms extended and hold that breath. So out the exhale. Good. From this position, you're going to extend your arms out at about a 60 degree angle. And you're going to take a deep breath in and suspend the breath. And now as you're inhaling, hold that inhale and clench the fists and hold that breath in. Then you're going to slowly bend the arms and bring the fists towards the chest. And you're doing this with a tremendous amount of tension in arm and hand muscles and in the chest. It's as if you're pulling a thousand kilogram weight towards you. If you're imagining you're pulling this kind of ton towards you as you're inhaling. You pause for a second or two. Once you touch the chest, you release the breath with an explosive exhale. And you can repeat the cycle. So inhale, open. And as you're retaining the inhale, you're pulling this really, really heavy weight towards you. And as you touch the chest, you exhale with force. <sighs> All right, so you're going to continue that. I'll keep time for you. <sighs> you can close your eyes during the sequence or either focus on the tip of the nose or on the brow point. It's up to you. But the real focus is maintaining that pattern of the breath. Be careful not to scrunch your shoulders. We're not scrunching the shoulders towards the chest. It's this very controlled in line with the heart center movement. Make this your last three. Strong forceful exhale as you complete that set. Bring the arms down. Just take a moment to let go of that tension. And now still sitting in easy pose with the shoulders open and the spine erect. You're going to interlace your fingers, place them behind your head with the palms facing up. I'll show you what it looks like from the side as well. And you're going to inhale and you're going to stretch your arms up to the ceiling, keeping the fingers locked and the thumbs together. So this is kind of what it looks like. 
the sort of posture so the fingers are interlaced, thumbs are touching. But when they're behind your knee, they'll be facing up. Almost like you're this elevator. And you inhale as you stretch up over your head and exhale back down. So from the side, it looks like this. So my fingers are interlocked, my thumbs are touching, I'm here. Be really careful not to arch the back too much depending on your flexibility. Try to keep that spine straight. If you can't go with the arms all the way down in order to maintain this position, rather hold your arms up higher to be done and compromise the spine. So inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. It's a very strong, forceful breath. It's supposed to be done quite rapidly. If your legs are fatiguing, you can swap your legs around in easy pose. All right, so when you're ready, you can commence in your own time. I will keep time for you. So get comfortable with the movement and the breath first. And once you have that, you can start going quite rapid and keeping the breath rapid. Also be careful not to bob your head as you're doing this. It's not this motion. It's literally arms are behind the head. And that's why I said rather keep your arms up a little higher than rather taking them too far back and not being able to maintain the posture. Take a nice deep inhale, exhale the arms up, and you can bring the arms down to your sides. If at this point in time you're being fatigued from sitting for such a long period of time, you're all more than welcome to put two yoga blocks, or if you don't have two yoga blocks, two little rolled up towels underneath each knee, just to elevate them, or you can sit on a block or a little poof or a little um, stool, just to elevate the pelvis a little bit. All right. So the next exercise is going to be a torso twist. So you're going to put your hands together and you're going to cross your left thumb over your right thumb and you're going to extend your hands up above you again. You're going to twist the torso. So you're going to inhale to the left, exhale to the right. You can start that in your own time. Make sure the rotation is coming from the trunk and from the chest and not necessarily the wriggling of the hips. Don't worry about how big the rotation is, worry about the quality of the rotation and focus on the flow of your breath. As you feel more comfortable, the breath should be more powerful and the rotation should be a little bit more rapid in movement.
Remember to take your head with you. If you find you're getting a little bit dizzy, you can keep your head still and just kind of rotate around the head. But the whole focus is to rotate the head with you. Um, some people feel more comfortable keeping their eyes closed. Um, others prefer keeping their eyes open, depending on how dizzy you feel. If you are getting nauseous, just take a moment to slow down, take a refresher breath, and then continue. Go take a nice deep inhale, come back to center, exhale and bring the arms down. If the shoulders are burning, you can take a moment to just give them a rub, just give them a squeeze, give yourself just a comforting hug. Okay, so from this position, we're going to interlace our fingers again, crossing left thumb over right thumb, and we're going to commence at the heart center. And we're going to bring our hands up to our brow point and then back down to our heart center. And we inhale up to the brow point, exhale down into the heart center. So inhale, exhale. Breath is strong and steady. Again, you're creating this pumping action. And really important with the pumping is don't scrunch the shoulders. It's not this wave like motion. It's shoulders stay exactly where they are, arms lift and lower. This is your last pumping action. Inhale, bring the hands up to the brow center. Hold it, inhale, and suspend their breath. Exhale, bring your arms down to your sides. Give yourself a little bit of a break. All right, now we're going to go straight into spinal twists. So you're going to bring your hands up to your sides. And you're going to kind of give your shoulders this little hug. So you're going to bring your hands over your shoulders. So the thumbs are at the back and the fingers are in the front. And you're firmly grounded and planted into the floor. And you're going to inhale to the left, exhale to your right. Take your head with you. Sort of really slow. Get that rotation. Feel comfortable in rotating the trunk and the upper back. If this is painful on the spine, just decrease the range of your movement as well as the speed. But if you're feeling the prana kind of flowing through you, you can increase the speed of the rotation as well as the inhale.
Make this your last inhale and exhale. As you slowly return back to center, take a deep inhale. Squeeze your pelvic floor so your wind and knee muscles give them a squeeze and hold. Hold that in breath, hold the pelvic floor. Forceful exhale, relax the arms back down, bring your hands to your knees. If you are feeling particularly tight or sore, you can give your shoulders a rub. And it's quite a arm workout. All right, so hands to your knees. We're gonna finish off the Kriya with shoulder strokes. Okay, so when you do the shoulder strokes, again, the spine is erect, you're opening the chest, you're raising both shoulders up towards the ears, and then you're letting it go. And it's kind of, it's not a slow release, it's kind of this really letting gravity do the work. So slow, inhale, forceful exhale. The set itself is said to be done with a quick and steady pace, but really take here here because a lot of people will complain of like neck spasm or cramps or shoulder cramps so i like to sort of really slow and once i feel my muscles are nice and loose then i can pick up the pace as well as the flow of my breath Couple this with a nice forceful sigh on the exhale, really helps relieve that, that tension. Make this your last one, lift the shoulders up, hold, inhale. And suspend the breath. And when you exhale now, make this really strong exhale. And relax our shoulders. Beautiful. So from here, you would go into whatever meditation you've chosen. If you've chosen to make this a Kriya set and you want to end off, then we'd, we would finish off like we do all our Kundalini classes. We would chant through Satna. Okay. Thank you for so much for joining me today, Sadhana, and good luck with the meditation. <laughs>